Okay, here's the question for you today. What is the greatest predictor of your future success? Wow, that's a loaded question, isn't it? I mean, when you think about your future and success, and you say, the greatest predictor of my success, what would it be? Well, I've got good news for you. I've got an answer. This isn't an answer just for me. This is an answer that I have watched and observed and has been proven in the lives of literally thousands of people that I know. The greatest predictor of your future success is that you're intentional in your personal growth. And there are four observations today that I want to give you why your personal growth should be at the top of your intentional list. The first one is the fact that growth is the only guarantee that tomorrow is going to get better. You see, um, the calendar guarantees that tomorrow you get older. That, that doesn't change. You can't, you can't roll that back. You can't change anything about the fact that every day that calendar keeps clicking and every day you and I are a day older. The calendar guarantees that you're going to get older. But let me tell you something. The calendar doesn't guarantee that you're going to get better. The only guarantee that you have that as those days roll by and you get older, the only guarantee that you're going to get better is for you to have a passion for personal growth. You see, I'm 70 and I'm so excited about my life because I'm still learning and I'm still growing. In fact, when people come to me and they ask me, John, what would you say is the key to the personal success that you've had in your life? Without any question, every time I'm asked that, I say it's the fact that every day I personally grow. I intentionally grow myself every day. I get better every day. Every day I am preparing for tomorrow instead of repairing yesterday. You see, most people, they want to go through life. The calendar lets you do that. But I want to grow through life. And there's a lot of difference between going through life and letting the calendar click off the days, and yes, you're getting older, and growing through life. And as that calendar is clicking off the days, you're also getting a lot better. And your next level of living is going to require a better you. It's going to require a better me. In other words, when people say, well, I, you know, I hope my future is bright, I look at them and say, hope's not a strategy. You don't need to hope that your future is going to get better. You intentionally make it better by committing yourself to daily personal growth. The second observation I want to make about personal growth is that to do so means that you're going to have changes in your life. If we don't change, we don't grow. And if we don't grow, come on. We're not really living. You see, growth demands a temporary surrender of security. It may mean a giving up of familiar but limiting patterns, safe but unrewarding work, and beliefs that no longer are believed in, and relationships that have truly lost their meaning, and thinking that cannot take us to the next level of living. Here's what I know. As we go through life, the only way that we get better is by being intentional in growing. Again, it's not automatic. It doesn't happen because we get older. It happens because we're intentional to get better. The third observation I want to make is the fact that growth is the great separator between those who succeed and those who do not. I tell people that um, I'm a mountain climber. Now, if you look at me, you can just tell this body is not the body of a mountain climber. But what I do say is I every day climb the mountain of personal development and growth. It's all uphill. None of it is easy. All of it is intentional. But I'm every day climbing. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that if I'm every day climbing, first of all, I'm not at the top. And what that means, very simple, is the fact that, 
that um, I, I'm never going to get to the top. You, you never kind of get through this journey of growth. There's no finish line to it. But every day I'm climbing. And what that also means is that if I'm climbing every day this mountain of growth and you're not, soon we're going to be separated uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. We're going to be separated. And that's what I mean about the fact that growth is the great separator between people. Uh, we all begin maybe on the same level, but then we determine how far we go, how high we go, how much we grow. And that's why I help people when they talk about being goal conscious or growth conscious. I, I encourage them always to be growth conscious. Now we hear a lot more about being goal conscious. So let me give you the differences quickly. Goal being goal conscious means that I'm focused on a destination where when I'm growth conscious, I'm focused on a journey, a never ending journey. When I'm goal conscious, I, um, uh, I get motivated. It, 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 goal consciousness motivates people, but growth consciousness matures people. If I'm growth conscious, uh, it's going to be seasonal. It's for a period of time. But again, when you're growth conscious, growth is lifelong. It's, it's again, a journey. It's never ending. Goal conscious people, well, the thing that they love about goals, it challenges them because, okay, in, in one week, in one month, in, in two months, I'm going to be at this certain level. So that's a very challenging thing. But if you're growth conscious, I, I have found it will not only challenge you, it'll change you. Because you're not going for a destination on the outside, you're going for a destination on the inside to be a better you. You see, growth conscious, when the goal is reached, we begin to plateau. But if we're growth conscious when the goal is reached, <laughs> there's no plateau. I mean, we just keep growing. So I would encourage you to to switch your mindset from being a goal conscious person to be growth conscious. And by the way, if you're growth conscious, you'll hit every one of those goals. The only difference is you just won't stop and celebrate so long because you'll know that it is a journey, not a destination. My final thought on personal growth today is the fact that growth is joy. When I was 30, I had a mentor uh, and he said one day something to me that really uh, stuck. He said, John, growth is happiness. And for many, many years, I just kept saying to myself, because I found it to be true in my life, that growth was happiness. I, I found just a lot of happiness in the fact that I was uh, changing and becoming better and, and becoming bigger in my life. But at 70, I'd have to say that as I look back at what I heard at 30, that growth is happiness, I think happiness is too shallow of a word. I would tell you, my friend, it is my experience after a lifetime of growth that growth is joy. It's better, deeper, more satisfying than happiness. When I was a kid, um, when I'd wake up, I got up because I was just one of those kind of kids. I didn't want to miss anything. I wanted to make sure that I took in everything. Well, I want you to know when you become intentional about your personal growth, you won't have to worry about missing the best things that life has to offer because you will be intentional in getting them. And that's what I want for you. I want you to intentionally grow because it's the only assurance, the only guarantee that tomorrow is going to get better in your life. Now, it's time for you to do the round table on personal growth. And remember <laughs> at the end of the round table, you listen and you share, remember this, Take one thing out of that round table that you can act on immediately because that's where transformation happens in your life. <music>